everyone. Before I delve into the specifics of this research, or my research, I'd like to bring attention to some overarching social threats which we collectively face. Now, I'll start by talking about Big Brother, which was a concept introduced by George Orwell in his, 19, in his novel 1984. In it, Big Brother World has absolute sovereignty over his country. The manner in which Big Brother controls his subjects is through a combination of censorship, propaganda, and mass surveillance. The most ominous of Big Brother's abilities is the manner through which historical media could be altered to serve the current political climate and its immediate needs. This shows many parallels to fake news and fake media, which in the past was referred to as yellow journalism, and more recently also clickbait titles. Now, Amnesty, the Amnesty International speech did cover fake news and threats which poses. So I won't delve too deeply into that. But it's important to note that fake news and fake media is, so, is apparently so prevalent that foreign powers have reportedly influenced elections, referendums, and public discourse. <coughs> Another tool in the fake media arsenal is deepfakes. Now deepfakes uses machine learning techniques in order to create realistic looking images, videos, and audio of whatever you please. Now you can imagine that this can have deep implications for social engineering aspects. Especially for um, governments, public, and private industry. Now the scope through which my research was conducted was through design science research. Design science research focuses on the development of an information technology architect and DSR forces researchers to engage with the problem and the resulting solution space in order to iterate and improve on their solutions in a tangible manner. That's a framework through which research is conducted, and it typically comprises of six steps. I don't think you can see it quite clearly, but the first stage is you identify the problem, and you show the importance of that problem. The second is you define your objective, and you define an objective of a solution, and like what a better artifact would accomplish if an existing product already exists. Thirdly, you design and develop your artifact. Fourth, you demonstrate that your artifact works and you use it to solve your specific problem. Fifth, you evaluate your problem and you observe how effective and efficient it is. Sixth, you communicate your findings to a wide audience, which is what I'm doing now. <coughs> so, the specific problem which I, or which we work on, um, there's a, on the internet, web, resource, web resources are persistently hosted, and the persistency of those web resources is questionable. If a website and all of its resources goes down today, and someone conveniently has a backup of said resources, can you trust them? Realistically, I'd say you can't. They can be a potentially anonymous individual on the internet, peddling fake or false about information, and there's no real evidence of their trustworthiness. The Wayback Machine is one such example of a web archiving um, tool. But it isn't completely useful. There's not a complete web archive. 
um, content can be easily removed by a legal request or if you decide to have your um, website not be trolled, I mean trolled by bots that won't make a copy of it. And the cost of storing a great collection of the entire internet is unfeasible. So my objective is to store immutable an immutable representation of the file, which is smaller than the original file, with a timestamp, and associate ownership of said representation with the party rep requesting the non reputation service and a link to the web resources close to that point in time. This record is then stored and must provide surety that tampering did not occur. Just for clarity, non-reputation is the assurance that some entity can't deny the validity of some Now, reputation chain, which is the developed artifact, allows users to create an immutable record of their first interaction with specific content on the internet. The load cost, for load cost using a smart contract, all by Ethereum and the Ethereum virtual machine. And I believe it's a possible puzzle to provide a means to combat threats to censorship and propaganda. The core workflow of the reputation chain is that user logs in and checks their credentials so they provide their private public key um, key store. And the user provides a URL to the web resource, Ash is found, and timestamp is found and exposed to the Ethereum network. Reputation chain was compared against another proof of, another reputation service called Proof of Existence, and the measure of metrics was that uh, the reputation chain was cheaper. Um, users don't have to download and upload the file that they wish to secure. Um, it has multiple redundancies. The another feature <coughs> is derived from Ethereum's anonymity and not um, general anonymity provided on the internet, and it is not for profit. Now, the contributions of reputation chain is development. Um, the original problems that I saw that we sought to solve were solved. Um, blockchains were chosen as they provide a relatively immutable store of data. <coughs> The means of arriving at an emerging trusted timestamp was developed, as Ethereum's timestamp was historically susceptible to timestamp-based attacks. The means of representing a file of variable length in a, in a deterministic fashion, without concern for system storage or memory, which performs quicker than an equivalent um, algorithm, which or data structure, which is a binary Markov tree. But the only weakness was that the algorithm developed cannot be used in the same, um, doesn't provide an authentication chain like the Merkle tree does. Collectively, all the problems set out originally were solved, as well as some emergent problems. And providing an, an affordable non reputation service, an additional tool is made publicly available to counter deep fakes and fake media. Reputation chain allows one to have a degree of surety that some file existed at a given point in time, and any applications to this file could be detected. Thank you.